I was in a lifestyle of sin that I desperately wanted out of, but could not find a way out. I'm supposed to be this perfect pastor's kid that's supposed to not doing anything wrong, but yet I'm dealing with this secret sin. I can't do this. I can't deal with this anymore. I was a borderline alcoholic. I can't remember a time I didn't battle with depression, and I thought that that was something that was normal, was a part of life. I didn't realize it was something I could get free from. A good friend of mine asked me if I'd ever heard about the ramp when I was living in Richmond, Virginia, and I told him I hadn't. And he said, would you be interested in listening to a podcast? And I said, absolutely. I was hungry and desperate for something to happen. And I remember the very first podcast I heard while living in Virginia, and I was so wrecked. Something awakened in my heart where I began to consume podcasts from the ramp in the summer of 2009. They had a word for me, and everything that they described was everything that I was going through. I specifically remember hearing the phrase, scared little girl, and that's exactly what I was. And in that moment, the Lord showed up and showed me that I wasn't alone that I wasn't as far gone as I thought I was, and that He cared for me enough to stop what someone else was doing and save my life. I've never felt like this weight lifted off of me until that moment, which I've heard people talk about, oh, this weight was lifted off of me, but I had never felt it until winter ramp. And it was just, it was amazing. It just completely broke in me, seeing that he was there with me in that time where I felt so alone. And in that moment, I remember just the weight of the world being lifted off of my shoulders and every ounce of shame and guilt just being broken off, every lustful thought, every perverted thought. It was like I had a taste of his presence, but the ramp showed me how to jump all in and how to dive into the deep end. That presence was over me and just came to just, I just remember just praying, crying out to God and singing that song over and over and over. Everything that I had done wrong that I'd been carrying, he literally just stripped it away and I was just in complete awe, like I was finally free. The first podcast I heard was about being baptized again and having other lovers in your heart. And August 30th, 2009, I got baptized again in response to that original podcast. And a 21-year-old tw sin cycle broke. I have not done that one time in nine years. When he broke the sin cycle, he demolished it. It's like I was let out of prison and I could run free.